saya Sartini. My name is Sartini. I live in Sereng village with my husband and son. We go to the field every day from morning until mid-afternoon. We look for grass for the goats. During the rainy season, we grow rice and corn. The dry season, if it's a long spell, will last more than five months. Before, to anticipate the water shortage, we would only take a bath every two days. As farmers, we kept goats, and often we would have to sell our goats to buy water. Whenever I recall how it was back then, it really breaks my heart. The tide started turning for Sereng almost a decade ago, when Dr. Ahmed Argus was studying for his PhD at Curtin University in Perth under an Australia Award Scholarship. His lecturer encouraged him to tackle the problem of how to provide power to remote communities scattered across Indonesia's 17,000 islands. The technology that um, uh, I worked for my PhD was uh, about a hybrid power system and then uh, adapted this to this special location where water is the, the highest priority. So we bring the technology to provide water. The system he developed, together with fellow students, won an international engineering award. And the prize money gave him the chance to finally ease a burden that Dr. Agus had carried with him since working as an intern with the Indonesian government in 1998. I was deployed for nine months in the region like this one. In fact, I learned how hard life is, how hard life was kind of remote rural area. I learned how the natural changes from um, what's it, wet season to dry season and how water just disappeared. Now, working as an engineering lecturer, Dr. Argus devised a practical course for final year students where they help communities like Sereng with building and maintaining solar-powered water pumping systems based on the award-winning design. They are come from different uh, background, engineering, social science, medicine, and agriculture and others. They live together with the local community and then they start to mingle with local communities, thinking about how to solve the problem with the local community. Back in Surang, Water is now available closer to people's homes, and it's more reliable year-round. This saves people time in fetching water and money in paying for expensive water tankers. And we knew that the water is a basic needs. Once we can provide the basic needs, then people can start to think about other things. They can start to think about how to generate income, additional income from uh, activities like entrepreneurship and others. Ada waktu luang sekarang itu saya gunakan untuk membuat. Now that I have more time, I produce banana chips. I sell the chips at the food store, but some people buy them directly from my house. My son's education is important to me because he needs to move with the times. I will need to sell about 10 packets of banana chips to pay for his transport to college every day. With water now being less of an issue, people here are also thinking about how to attract tourists to this beautiful spot. If tourists come, I hope they will be interested in my banana chips and that they would sell well. <laughs> If, if we can provide more this kind of uh, what is it, activities, business and others, hopefully uh, develop and flourish, hopefully uh, youngsters start to think about choice to stay here, to work here, to develop here, to, 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 to also to participate in the development in the location. 
the Ministry of Public Works were so impressed that they adopted Dr. Argus' system and are now coordinating a network of 10 universities to replicate it. What started as a PhD project in Australia has now grown into a huge potential for people across Indonesia.